dancing, drinking, a vibrant nightlife hopefully revived. After a two-year hiatus, nightlife institution Zook has reopened its doors as a nightclub. However, it is parting with restraint as only 500 people are allowed into the location that used to host 2,000. From 10pm when the club opened to around 10.45, there were about 50 people at Zook drinking and chatting, though not quite hitting the dance floor. The crowd was expected to pick up at around 11pm and peak at 12am, since all the 500 slots had been booked. But how do the partygoers feel about being back after the pandemic enforced break? Uh, surreal. Surreal, yeah. Yeah, same. Why? Um, it's like we waited so long for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> a bit nostalgic actually, yeah. Because this was a place where people gather and there's a very big community. So we always see like uh, familiar faces. This is something which I find, uh, I like about Singapore as well. Like, and the fact that they are trying to provide us the experience we've been wanting for, but in a Singapore style. So I think you gotta accept what you get. Oh, actually it's quite streamlined, the measures. Uh, like for the ART test, you can do it online. And for the tickets, you, you know, you can just purchase it online. So nothing much on my part. Apart from the on-site ART test clinics outside, the club has made changes to their operations to comply with safe measures. This includes increased security manpower to make sure patrons are appropriately masked up as well as barricades with designated entry and exit points for better crowd control. This brings the size of the dance floor down to 75% of its pre-pandemic size. There's a general sense of excitement, especially for all the staff who has pivoted in a way because like for example, my DJs were serving guests and right now they can be back on their, on their decks. Okay. We are allowed to um, provide 75% entry, which is about 1,500 people. But to reopen this week, we're making it safe. Right, we are only going to allow 500 people per day from this Wednesday, this Friday and this Saturday. It's also because we can't hire enough staff on time. I'm rallying down the HQ staff um, to help out with operations. Like for example, my finance staff is helping out with the cashiering. My IT staff is helping out with the bar. Of course, now with the reopening, we also want to open it more prudently and more safely um, so that it's more sustainable in, in the long term. While Singapore gears itself for further reopening, it seems that party goers and party throwers alike are satisfied with playing things safe for now. Kim Lee Jiao for the Straits Times.